Hey, John here from Web Agents. Thanks so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking today about Facebook campaign types, so, uh, Facebook ad campaign types, I should say. So when you're running a paid Facebook ad campaign, which campaign type should you choose? There's quite a few to choose from. So we're going to I'm going to go through those together with you. Uh, and so, look, I'm assuming you are already set up your Facebook Business Manager account, which is at business.facebook.com. You can go and set that up for free. And uh, once you're logged in, you're going to see something like this in the Ads Manager, in the Ads Manager, which is basically when we're talking about Ads Manager, we're talking about so always if you click on those three vertical lines at the top, you'll get the menu and we're here in Ads Manager. All right, so here is where you basically set up your paid advertising campaigns for your business. So, um, all right, so we're in the Campaigns tab and we're going to click on Create Campaign. All right, so you're going to see something like this. So the, the first part when you're setting up your, um, so there's three parts to setting up an advertising campaign. There's choosing the type of campaign and then there's um, setting up your targeting and your budgeting and all that kind of where you're going to run your ad like it's going to be on Facebook or Instagram or both and then the actual ad itself. So today we're just talking about this first part which is just choosing your objective or your campaign type. Um, now, choosing a marketing objective doesn't make any difference. Yeah, it really does. So you want to make sure you choose the right objective because Facebook is going to put your ad in front of people that will help you to reach your objective. And I'll, I'll give you an example of what I mean. So, so let's say um, you use you, you want people to come to your website. All right, so you you just want, you want to come there because you've got an e-commerce store or something like that, something that you, you need them to come to your website because you need them to fill in, like to, to make a booking online or purchase something online or whatever reason. Um, if that's your primary objective, then you need to choose something like traffic. Um, whereas, so if you, let's say you choose, but let's say uh, your objective is to get, you want people to, to connect with you on Messenger because you want to start conversations with people because uh, maybe you find that works best for your business rather than sending them to your website you find it works best for your business uh, if you're able to establish relationships with Messenger start chatting with people so let's say you want to do that if you select traffic uh, and then you uh, as your consideration or your objective uh, it's going to be harder to get people to or well, Facebook will um, not be able to optimize your your ad to send it to people that will actually start chatting with you in Messenger. Whereas if you select messages as your objective, it'll actually what Facebook will do is it will put your ad in front of people not only that are interested in your product or service, but that have shown by their actions that they actually like using Messenger. So again, it really does make a difference which objective you choose. All right, so let's go through uh, all of these different objectives. Um, so uh, the first section here is brand awareness and reach. And this is basically where you want to get a name out for yourself. You're not necessarily interested in people taking specific actions like coming to your website and buying something, for example. But you're more, you just want to get the word out that you... you you know about your brand okay so that could be locally it could be nationally it could be internationally uh, it depends how big your company is and how much you got money uh, money money you have to, to spend on that kind of thing um, so increase awareness of your brand by reaching people who are more likely to be interested in it is brand awareness and reach show your ad to the maximum number of people so what Facebook will do if you choose one of these it'll basically try to get your ad that you create to as pretty much as many people as possible within but within the area that you choose to whether it's local national or state level national or international so you still get to choose 
who sees it, which areas, but it'll uh, basically try to get the word out, um, try, try to make you more uh, visible to as many people as possible. Now that one, by the way, these are two that I've never used. I never used because a lot of the stuff that we do with web agents, for example, is direct marketing. So it's pretty much we, we, we want people to take a specific action. We just don't want them to just, hey, know about this our clients that we're representing just to know about them but we want them to do something like we want them to come to the website for example okay uh so that's the next column here is consideration so traffic um so basically this one is where you want mainly the the time that i use traffic is when I want to get people to come to a website, I like whether it's a landing page, home page of a website, whatever, but basically want someone to go, or it could be uh, like if you're a local restaurant and you've got a um, online menu that people can order from, okay, that's another good one as well. So. But basically, where you want people to come to a specific, you click on a link to go and do something. All right, engagement. So what does it say here? Get more post engagement, page likes, event responses, or, or offer claims. So that's a really good one. Uh, it's for, for like I mentioned there. So let's say you want to get more followers to, on your Facebook page. This is the one you want to choose. Uh, also, if you've got an event, a local event that you, that you've created, like you've actually created an event on your Facebook page, and you want to promote that event, um, I give you an example of this. Let's say you're a real estate broker, a real estate agent, and you've got an open home, and you want you've created an event for this open home, and you want to get people to actually. Um, uh, a sign up for the, basically opt into the event that they're going to the event because the great thing for doing that for example with Facebook is it'll it will remind people about the event that's happening hey you've you've said you're going to go to this open home it's later on today at 2, 2 p.m. or whatever so that's when you would use that objective app installs that's fairly obvious so if you're promoting your app whether it's uh, whatever type of app it is, uh, let me see. It says here, yep. So iPhone app, Android app. If you want to get more people to install your app, then that is the objective. Video views. Um, so where, why would you want to promote your video? Well, the, a good reason you might want to promote a video is because you you want to retarget to people later. So, um, because you can actually, uh, you can actually create advertising campaigns based on people that have, have watched your video, whether they watch three seconds, 10 seconds of your video, 25%, 50%, 75%, 100% of your video. So, um, that could be a really good one to use where you, but you get your, your video out to, and, and it could be very targeted, obviously, like as far as location, gender, age. Uh, interest levels so you get your video out but then based on how many people uh, how people interact with that video you create another ad campaign that just targets them and they're going to be you know that's going to be a much smaller group but people that you know that have seen your content that obviously know like and trust you because because they're consuming that content and then you can get take them to the next level where it's to go and call you or visit your website or buy something from you or whatever so that can be a really good one so lead generation, this is excellent if you're interested in getting people to give you their, your, their name, email, and or phone number, etc. That, that kind of details. And the great thing about the Facebook lead generation, you don't need a website. You don't need to create a landing page. Facebook will cr create uh, creates an opt-in form on Facebook and Instagram itself. So people get, scroll through, they see it in the news feed, your ad, they click on it, you know, it says, hey, um, you know, I might say, uh, let's say you're a, a counsellor and you want to get more clients and you're offering a free first appointment with you, but they have to obviously leave their details 
and so people are scrolling through and they see that you know that's great I need some help click on the ad they don't go to again a website or anything like that they simply um, confirm their details by the way so Facebook will pre-fill this form it's a Facebook form so Facebook knows their name email and usually phone number so pre-fill the information all they have to do is click submit which is excellent and you're more likely to get um, their actual real details because you know sometimes when people fill in get a landing page and fill in a form they might accidentally you know uh, put a wrong character for the email address or their phone number or just not put the real information in that's less likely to happen with Facebook lead forms because it's already there that's click submit so and and you, you you're obviously sent that details um, highly highly recommend it it's very good strategy again especially if you don't want to go to the hassle of setting up a landing page and a website and all that kind of stuff it makes it very very easy for you um, the messages here so messages is great objective if you again have set up uh, like want people to chat with you uh, or if you've set up a chat bot like if you're using servers like mini chat and you've set up a bot uh, a chat sequence that you take people through um, okay so let's use an example of a real estate agent again let's say they've set up a chat where people can uh, automate chat sequence to, to ask people about uh, what type of property they're interested in buying and so people can so uh, you know they can talk about their budget and what area they want and whatever you can ask some questions and where they enter the information and it's all automated sequence and depending and you can actually structure the the sequence based on their responses okay if they respond this way let's ask them this next question it works in a lot of industries it's an excellent strategy for it really helps to warm people up so instead of just sending people to a landing page and saying hey give me your name email phone number you can use bots um, to you know start chatting with people finding out a bit about them and before you start asking you know the information and getting them to book an appointment or stuff like that and it works very 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 well so you can use that objective if you're using again a bot sequence uh, service like ManyChat or even if you're just manually chatting with them you find that works for you that's a good uh, objective and and as I mentioned before the reason why you want to use that versus like traffic uh, is that Facebook will more show that your ad in front of people knows it knows users messenger is happy to use messenger all right and the last section here is conversions now the this is great if you've got especially when um, you've got the, the Facebook pixel in on your website or in your funnel and it's gathering information and and maybe you've run some of these campaigns already so Facebook sort of knows a lot about who your ideal uh, prospects are and clients and so forth so once you've been running some of these campaigns like the traffic or the messages campaign or whatever um, what you can do is you can actually set up conversions and so a good example of this is if you uh, have a um, uh, e-commerce e store and you're selling stuff um, because you can integrate the Facebook pixel into your shopping cart so that Facebook can see when when the traffic it sends if they're looking if they're going to the checkout page if they're placing orders like if you're using WooCommerce for example in, on WordPress you can integrate your Facebook pixel within it uh, or even if you're just using uh, you know, Google Analytics and so forth but anyway you can um, uh, so again the conversions is great if you're trying to collect leads if you get names and emails and phone numbers you can put it on your thank you page after people have entered their details and you, they get a thank you page you can put your Facebook pics on the thank you page and create a conversion um, custom conversion in Facebook that recognizes when people have taken that action again so Facebook knows okay these types of people that we're sending they're the ones that are actually turning into leads and, and once you've been get again been running some campaigns for a while and you're gathering that kind of data with the Facebook pixel if you set up a conversion <coughs> what Facebook will do it will basically send you the traffic that it knows 
will help you reach your conversions. Again, whether it's purchasing something from your e-commerce store or generating lead on your website, this is a great uh, tool to use to to get um, basically lower your conversion costs, your, you know, your your lead costs or cost per sale or whatever. So very very a very very good one to use. And what does it say there in the information? Uh, drive valuable actions on your websites uh, in your app or messenger. Okay, catalog sales drive valuable actions to, on your website in your app or messenger. Yeah, look, I've never used that one, so I'm assuming, like we we're saying, so that's actually yeah, that would be more if you've got like a work, like a e-commerce store, and you want to make sure that um, you're driving. So the conversions might be really good more for um, leads catalog sales more for, for e-commerce store and in and, and generating sales um, and store traffic and let's see what it says here drives visits to your physical stores by showing that to people who are nearby all right excellent so that's a great one for local businesses that you want to to attract people um, yep, they're actually coming into your physical store. That's a, that's an excellent one right there. Okay, so um, look, I hope this uh, video has helped you uh, knowing which campaign type or campaign objective you should choose when setting up your Facebook ads. Again, it is important which one you do, and if you're not sure, if you're still not sure after watching this video and having a look around. Uh, let's say you know there's a couple that you're you're thinking might be good for you. Do create two different campaigns and see how they go, see how they perform, uh, and find and, and that way you can find out which one is the best one for you. I've done that many times. Um, Facebook is uh, an excellent platform, but um, you know it really can sometimes it can take a bit of trial and error so don't don't be concerned if you don't get it right the first time uh, even experts people that have been using this platform for years like myself we still test different strategies um, to see which ones are going to work best all right so uh, again I hope you found this video helpful if you did really appreciate a thumbs up um, and subscribe as well to see more valuable videos from web agents if you have a question that we're not having yet covered in one of our videos uh, leave a comment as well i'm always checking them and we'll make sure we we help you with that and creating a new video uh, and if you need any help with your online marketing any websites ad creation whatever anything at all head on over to webagents.com.au always happy to help you thanks for watching this video